Welcome to Card Snail, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Shadows in Valhalla Yu-Gi-Oh set. This is a 2017 edition. This is the English first edition. I got five blister packs here, so we're hoping that by getting blister packs, they are not weighted. These are a pretty good buy. I got them for, I think, $7 online right now. Um, let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. I don't want this video to go too long. We're hoping for some great pulls. I mean, with blister packs, you're always hoping to get, you know, more worth for your money because it can't be weighted is the idea. Um, now, I'm sure they could be weighted. There's experts out there who can... I mean, Houdini exists, right? So anything can happen. But the general idea here is that they cannot be weighted, especially because they're the new extreme value low price. Hopefully, that means we are going to get some extreme value cards. All right, first pack. Boom, right off the bat at Hollow. Hollow, that's awesome. Ninja Grandmaster Hanzo. Wow, that's a nice holographic card. Two hollows in a row? Okay, this is my favorite set ever I've opened to Yu-Gi-Oh so far already. So this is Ninja Gra Grandmaster Hanzo. What a great rainbow hollow card. What an awesome card art. He just looks like an amazing character. This is a really nice card. Okay. Goddess Verdande's Guidance. Verdanda? Verdande or Verdanda's Guidance? Really nice card. Wow, she is a cutie too. That is awesome card art. I really like the uh, anime feel to the card art. Can't come. Okay, what's going on here? Is, is every card hollow? Every card's hollow in this set? Wow. Okay, I am so happy. What an awesome card. Omega Summon. That is a really nice trap card. Look at that. Wow. The art is just unreal on these cards. Like, it's so sinister and awesome. I'm going to have to sleeve every one of these cards. Valkyrie Zweet, or Zweety. Amazing. Like, the card art is unreal. Every card's hollow so far. This is just Gem Knight, uh, Seraphonite. Wow. I like that. The glitter hollow and how it's got spots it isn't hollow. So it's not the uh, your standard where the whole thing's hollow. It's got the, the, the matte blue which is a really nice royal blue. And then the gold glitter. I mean, really great cards. Wow. Okay, this is going to be one of the fun... This this is super fun. Okay. Shadows in Valhalla. Great set. 2017 release. Um, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Way to go, guys. I mean... Whenever I open a pack and every card's hollow, I don't care if they're worth one cent. I just feel like my life is fantastic. Nothing could bring me down when everything is hollow. It really is. Every card is hollow. Oh, my Lord. Elemental Hero, Elemental Hero Neos. That is a really nice card. I love the hollow on these, like where it's the, the matte character, the flat matte characters, and then the rainbow hollow background. Magic Planter. Really nice card. And there's a Yu-Gi-Oh card melting into there. Urgent Ritual Art. Magical Meltdown. Can someone comment? Is there... Okay, so here is the ultra rare card. Now we got Alistair the Invoker. You can see the letters and the Yu-Gi-Oh logo itself is hollow. Which I don't think we got any in the last pack. No. So we're going to keep that card separate. I should be sleeving these right away. I shouldn't be letting them rub on each other. I feel like a monster doing that. But for the sake of the video, I don't want to make the video 25 minutes long sleeving cards. But, um, okay. Let's keep going. I, I'm having so much fun. This is the best day ever. Shadows in Valhalla. If you're going to bust some Yu-Gi-Oh packs, I recommend. It is a lot of fun. There's nothing like opening packs where every card has holographic. I, I, like I said, I don't care what they're worth. When, it, when every card has this amazing art. Look at that. Mermail Abyss Sleed. Just unreal. Magic Planter again. So clearly not that rare of a card, but we're still happy to get it. Urgent Ritual Art. Arma, Armor Ninjutsu Art of Alchemy. Very cool. And Mischief of the Time Goddess. Okay, that's awesome. 
See, you, that's how you know the Yu-Gi-Oh! rarity. See how the, the letters themselves are also hollow? And what a cool card. She's got that real anime, cutie feel. Love it. Love it. Anyone who watches the channel who follows knows I am a big fan of the cute anime girls. I mean, can you go wrong? Really? Like, who doesn't love the cute anime girls? Fourth pack. We got one more on deck. Try not to be too much of an animal when I open these. I'm, I'm just excited. I want to see what's in them every time now. Goddess for Dandy's Guidance. Again. So there's not a lot of cards in this set, doesn't seem. Upstart Golden Ninja. Really cool card art. Like that. I like his helmet. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. Now that card has a really cool feel. How there's like a three-dimensional thing. Like how her head, you can see that it's in the background, in the mist. How her face is halfway within the hollow. See that? You see how the hollow line goes like across? That's beautiful. Wow. That is a really cool card art. I'm not going to lie. That has a really three-dimensional feel. Invoked Macaba And Twin Twisters. Another rare card. That is awesome. That's a nice spell card. Beautiful. Okay, last pack, guys. I would. I don't even know what to say. I, my, my normal commentary isn't here. Normally, I would uh, talk about how we should be hopeful for hollows and let's hope for some cool rare cards or some cute anime girls. Every single card is rare. Well, hollow with cute anime girls. I don't even... I got nothing. They killed my commentary. Yu-Gi-Oh! managed to shut me down. Mermail Abyss Megalo. So it's another one of these mermail characters. Really cool looking. Kind of reminds me of the Street Sharks. Does anyone remember Street Sharks from the 90s? Advanced Dark. Oh, that's awesome. All the characters coming in front of the giant dark dragon. Cyber Dark Impact. A classic Yu-Gi-Oh card. Elemental Hero Neos. We got two of the... Oh, wow. Okay. Drag Unity Knight. Vadriana. I'm pretty sure this card right here pays for itself for the pack. That is a really nice card. Wow. Beautiful card. Okay, guys. So that's that. That was the Shadows in Valhalla set released in 2017. First edition. So all these cards are first edition, which makes me even happier. If you want to check out these cards for sale, you can check the link in the description for my eBay store. You can also check out uh, set lists, packs, images of boxes, and descriptions of the set, along with tons of other sets, in the uh, link in the description for my blog. Guys, if you could like and subscribe, it would really help me out. Otherwise, this is Card Snail. We want to buy slow, sell high, and try to make a little bit of profit while having a lot of fun. Guys, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and catch my latest unboxing adventures. Also, if you want to pick up these cards or any other sets you've seen, check the description for my eBay and blog that has packs, cards, boxes, and tons of other collectible swag. Guys, as always, buy slow, sell high.